Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. We're we'll be going over the patch notes today. Um, the code for your box is Peacemaker, so make sure you guys go ahead and plug that into your box when you log in. All right, so let's go over the Thursday 119 patch notes. Um, we're gonna do the one minute thing and then we'll go over the rest of this stuff. So let's go ahead and watch this real fast and see what's up with it. No new hero, Bihu, uh, new side story. Uh, new hero, F Peacemaker, Furious, we're not that surprised, and World Arena Schedule. Uh, we have a new skin concept art reveal, uh, an episode revamp, new exclusive equipment, looks like for Sharoon, that's really cool, and three new three-star heroes, so eventually they'll become specially changed, probably next year, or late, late this year. So is this guy the new limited? Or... Um, Fire Ranger, so he's ha he has access to, uh, or is this a girl? I honestly can't tell. Uh, has access to Guiding Moon. Looks good, dude. Um, okay, so his artifact is Sphere of, of Infernal. After using a non attack skill, increases the combat readiness by 20%, and after the next two attacks, burns the target for two turns. Interesting. Interesting. <sighs> if you guys haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 4,000 subs. All right, so here is a Furious, ML Furious. Okay. He is a dark unit. Also, Ranger has access to guiding light. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, um, global ban hero. Okay, they're doing that. Um, Arena Trump season ending. Yes, yes, yes. I've been grinding RTA. Um, wait, is this her skin concept? Interesting. Okay, let's check out the uh, equipment for Coral. Um, so he's eating 10 speed. I don't know if that matters for him. Let me know in the comments below. Increases sword storm chance to provoke by 25%. Increases speed of the cast for two turns when using charge. When the enemy is defeated um, by some, by his ultimate, decreases the cooldown of the skill by two turns. I think that one's the best one, right? Or is he kind of a one and done? I, I haven't really used him or even have him built, to be honest. I don't think I even own him. Sharoon, this one's interesting. Effectiveness by 16%, so she's still slow. Um, with just trust me effects, increases comfort of cast by an additional 5%, increases trust me variation by 15%, and decreases uh, cooldown of maybe perish by one turn. Nothing insane there, so take what I think the ultimate refresh one will be pretty good though. Um, they all seem like they could have some use depending on how you play. Um, three new three stars. Ooh, I like the one on the far right. Hello there. Okay, and the center one's kind of interesting, but she's got bunny ears. Um, we got Juni. Okay. We have Lo Loka. Okay, Ranger. Talas, Warrior. And Thief, Talia. She's the cutest by far. Cool. And then, oh, we're getting, isn't this um Arya's brother, or... Is it Arya's brother? I think it's Arya's brother. Damn, he got the shaft by being a three star, but he could be really, really good when they uh, give him awakening. Episode revamp. Okay. Um, what's this? All difficulties of clearing the AP exchange unlock missions of episode two, trust missions episode three, and awaken Aiden missions episode four will be lowered. Okay, so easier. Unrecorded history improvements. We already talked about this. I'm gonna just condense it and then make one big shop. Uh, hero side story improvements. So now we're gonna get these banners that you can summon on. It looks to be so. That's gonna be interesting. It looks like we get Vildred, Iseria, Charles, and Crawl. Very interesting. I, I don't know if these are all the banners. Um, ooh, summer and winter chronicle updates. Okay, so first banner to I guess return uh, as a rerun is going to be Ida. She's she's good, but she seems to be struggling. So if you can, if you're cleaving, she's okay. Um, but you need speed gear and damage gear, so it's kind of up to you. I feel like these like a unit like this really needs to be careful when you summon her when we have limiteds on the way, most likely because of the huge event. And then what else? Uh, Ken, <laughs> skip. Oh my god, my boy Ken. And then oh, Arya is coming back. Um, uh, Arya is very good. 
I would recommend if you need a good life steal bruise or a tank bruiser, she is worth it. She's very good now. Very good. And then who else? And then we have drop rate up from Bihu. It doesn't seem like they're limited, which is a good thing, but they might be. Uh, Conk Lilius is returning to Rylet, and wow, they put Arbiter Vildred on the banner over Lionheart Serm, so that means Lionheart Serm should be on the next one, and then Little Queen Charlotte, so I wonder if they're getting her in her buffs. Um, Conk Lilius, very good. Uh, Rylet can be God, so I, I think the, the true winners of this banner is going to be Rylet or Conk Lilius. I might go for Conk Lilius myself, so is that everything? And then Furious. We might have to wait to see what he does. And then the coin shop will be... Rowell, ADS, the little bits, Crawl, Flan, and Bazaar. So that's cool. All right, so we covered a lot of that already in this. So we have this little panel right here for the side story list. Um, you may begin a different side story. Oh, okay, so it's going to be where like my dear mentor is. You just click that little refresh button, and you should be able to pick whatever story you want to go for. So that's interesting. Start a new story. Okay. Um, so I guess, uh, the way this works is that you can get the free character banner, oh, like, you get them, you get this unit, too, so if you want this, like, a dupe for Buildred, you can go for Buildred, so that's very interesting. Um, anything else to take out of this? The banner, let's see. Um, period, for seven days after unlocking the, uh, selected hero summons, you can select one of the lead heroes from the completed stories as a hero summit target among the side stories. Okay, um, the story summon and the method spending of its currency have the same uh, mechanic as drop up. So it's the same thing. You can only unlock one story summon at a time, and it can open after the story summon progress ends. After the initial release, new heroes will become available of the story six months after their first appeal on the rate up banner. I wonder if that means you can just save all the currency for whatever unit you're looking for, like if it's all the same currency. That way you can just pick and choose banner wisely. Oh, that's really interesting. So is this is this like a is this kind of like a custom banner, but like for certain like story units? Because I see Unfin here really really helpful. I see um, Vildred could be good for imprints. I can't really tell who's down here. It looks like Tamarines right here. I can't actually tell. That's kind of cool. So yeah, maybe you might want to work those. Depending on unrecorded history revamp, so they're just making it all condensed, really nice. Um, as a unrecorded history chapter will be changed to chapter one regions. Oh, so we get eight mola. Let's go, smile. Wait, it's all condensed, obviously. So does that mean if we've already did this all, do we get all these rewards? Because I could use that mola. Um, that's kind of cool. Breath of Orbits, which could be acquired in certain stages, will be changed to be new via achievements. So we can get either aim more of these or be if we've already done it. Like, I don't know if this if we've already done all this, we have to do it again. Like, I don't know. Or if it's just going to be changed. So, um, so it's like kill 500 monsters from X. Okay, so that's there's new missions now. Uh, adventure improvements, um, gift one jelly strange. Okay, so there's changing some stuff. Cool. New five. Yep, yeah, we've already looked at them. Um, oh, their kits are here. Honestly, I don't think their kits are going to matter right now because they're not going to be broken. I think we have to wait for their specially changed. Um, attacks the enemy with a club has a 60% chance. Maximum with a 60 or 75% chance to spell and buff. And the caster has perception increased the effect chance by 100%. Uh... After the start of the first battle gains 20 fighting spirit, the caster receives 20% or 30% oh, 30% maximum of damage suffered by it. So this is a tank. So in the future when they do get their specialty change, this is going to be another mitigation unit. Um, so that's going to be interesting. You can kind of get an idea what they're going to go for just by reading their passives. So that's going to be a mitigation unit in the future whenever they get their specialty changed. Um... When attacked, has a 30% chance, maximum of 40% to counterattack. So this would be a counterattack unit when they specially changed. Um, Leica is increased attack of the caster and ally with the highest uh, cast. Yes, when the, this unit, what? Hold on. It increases attack of the caster and the ally with the highest attack except for the caster two turns and combat readiness by 30%. When the combat readiness of an ally with the highest attack except for the caster is 35% or less, can increase the combat readiness of the target. Uh, target ally by 50 percent reminds me of ning ning a little bit so that's really cool like it looks like she's gonna be pretty powerful and then this one 
Grants immunity to all allies, or grants immunity to an ally in the cast for two turns, and grants barrier to the ally for two turns. Barrier strength increases proportional to the caster's attack. And then, I think this is, yeah, okay, so after, um, where does this us do? This? Oh, he's at the shortest us too. After attacking, increases attack and effectiveness up to, uh, up of the caster by 2.5 to the maximum 5% can stack with 10 times. So they're not going to be that crazy, but they look pr promising. Um, depends when they get their waiting. Okay, we're getting the um, Advent side story. This is very endgame stuff, so if you're not able to do it, don't feel bad. But this is something you definitely want to do because you get these little mod gems. Um, oh, we are so getting light. That's really cool. I would like to pull you know, stuff. All right, so does it tell us what we're going to be able to get from this out of this or negative? Um, use two, yeah, yeah. So the way this works is you use two of the same elemental heroes and you get, you know, you get like a bonus. So like 20% health, right? Team one, team two, team three is health, speed, attack. So you want to go three, three, three to get 40%, 40%, 40%. Um, do they do a good job of hiding? So it's speed. <laughs> speed counter revenge and then something down there i hope it's destruction but it's probably gonna be a two-piece right because this is four 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 so it's probably a two-piece I, I would assume maybe penetration maybe crit but i'm happy speed's on the board also usually you don't really have enough to buy these light con uh connections because you want to buy all the boxes mainly so think about that um what's this oh ray's getting a buff excuse me all right, so wait, they're only buffing the one skill that was already decent. Excuse me. Death Dealer's Ray. Okay, so uh, the five star Death Dealer Ray on um, anomotic mutation will be adjusted. The, his best skill is getting adjusted. Okay, let's see. Grants the uh, incre increased effectiveness and pestilence to all allies for two turns, increases combat readiness of the caster by 50%. And increasing combat readiness of allies, except for the caster, by 20%. Uh, pestilence after attacking on the bear will inflict... Yeah. Um, they don't listen very well when it comes to why the units suck. He doesn't suck because of his S2. He sucks because his S3 doesn't strip. But whatever. Um, Ray still sucks. Um, let's see. What is this? Uh, memory imprint exclusive ingredient transmission function added. The ability to transmit ingredients for imprint will be added to. Oh, oh, okay. So if people, yes, if people need to, because this one's for um, Raz, Mercedes, Yuna, and then I don't know the oh Aiden obviously. Who's the pocket watch? I got no. Pocket watch. Pocket watch. Pocket watch. Is that like base Aiden? And then Aiden Aiden? I don't even know anymore. And then, yeah, I don't know all these. I, I don't remember. So neat. A lot of things coming. Probably going to be a fat update. I would say skip the banners uh, uh, to see what Bihu does. But Ari is really good. She's tested and she's good. All right. So where do you went over this? That's pointless. Okay. So World Arena uh closing information when does it end it ends on the fourth let's go so i'll be um wait season endings on the fourth cool i'm already in champion so i just gotta hold it so neat so i'm in cha i'm in champion so champion uh if you're in masters and up you get the skin and then you get the frame and then yeah yeah so yeah it's, uh to be honest the skin it's hard to tell if it looks good or not it looks interesting but i'm not a big fan of her and she's not getting buffed yet so probably in the next balance patch hopefully they adjust her otherwise kind of a meme unit we already went over this we already went over this so that's it cool um uh, yeah advent side sword coming some banners that you should be skipping are coming new adjustments to unrecorded history um and then the season banner thing and also if you're going to summon on the mystic banner uh conk lilies is true and tested and riley can be pretty good at times if you want to be if, if you believe in the invade right uh but agents is better overall so you get to choose if you want to do that or not i myself i might go for conk lilies so I don't have the gear for her, but I think she's still good to have in the account. So I would assume next banner after this one will be a new MO5. If you want to wait and sit around and see what that's about, you can do that. And then the banner after should have reruns like Hanguy, Fapton, um, Lionheart Sermia, things of that sort that should be in the rerun sooner rather than later. So it depends on how they want to go about it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you guys are excited for. Uh, anything in the comments below. Wait, I don't even think we got to see Furious.
Oh well. Um. Yeah. Cool. Uh. I'll check out YouTube and see if Furious is on there. So see you in a bit. If so, peace.